Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of what happens if the pelicans on Live Fire collide with each other. So, in the previous video, we showed you guys that since the Season 3 update on Live Fire, the pelicans actually now take off and fly around the map and then despawn and disappear. And we also showed in another video that it was possible to capture the pelicans uh, using teleporters, and you could basically control their flight path that way. So, with that in mind, uh, me and my friends, ThunderMG and Bastly, we decided to set up a very convoluted map and uh, route for the pelicans to try to get them to collide with each other and see what happens uh, if they do collide. So we started off with a teleporter at exactly where the pelican spawns, the first pelican. And what that does is as soon as the game starts, that pelican teleports to the other side of the map and its flight path is now reversed. It's now flying in this direction. And we set it up so that it's on a loop of teleporters. So it teleports from here to there, and it flies from there all the way back here, and it will hit that teleporter again, and the teleport back there, and it's basically on an infinite loop for its flight path. So we have now successfully captured the first pelican. So now for the second pelican, I believe my friend calculated it, and it takes exactly 3 minutes and 43 seconds, uh, 343, three, for the second pelican to take off. Uh, and it doesn't matter like how much time you set in the game. It's exactly 3 minutes 43 seconds after the game starts. It's when the pelican starts initiating its takeoff sequence or something like that. Uh, so here we are. We are just about at that point and now the second pelican activates and it will take off and we also put it on another sequence of teleporters. So each pelican has a waypoint it tries to follow. That's why we can make its path predictable on a loop. So that pelican first tried to hit its first waypoint, it hit it, it turned around, and then flew here, and we scripted two platforms to spawn there so that we can uh, guide the pelicans into each other. Because the pelicans, they do have some limited uh, AI, I guess, or at least they avoid collisions with each other. They will actually dodge each other if we don't, like, force them to hit each other at the last second. So, as you can see there in slow motion, <laughs> they do collide. The first pelican pushed the second pelican out of the way and pushed it high up, high, high enough that it despawns uh, because there's like a barrier up top and anything that touches that despawns. So we despawned the, uh, the second pelican. So <laughs> in this case, that's what happened on this map when the two pelicans collide. Unfortunately, that first uh, test you saw there, uh, I could not get that footage in theater mode. It just didn't save for whatever reason. But on the second attempt here, I could uh, watching the theater mode and as you can see here uh, the results were a little bit different and the reason why it's not while their flight paths are 100% predictable and not random the reason why this is difficult is because for some reason in Forge like the timing of these platforms the timing that they spawn and the time that they compress the pelicans together it wasn't consistent like we set them to like two seconds or three seconds to like wait for uh, to do their actions and we found out that in Forge, or rather in like Halo Infinite, one second is not always one second in the game. Uh, e even though like, you know, uh, the time is set like properly and everything, sometimes it's off by like a half second or something like that. And no matter what we did, uh, it, it, was just, it was just random luck for this to, to happen properly. So it, it's a, I'd say that's kind of like a weird bug with Halo Infinite in that time in the game is not 100% precise. But nonetheless, we finally managed to get them to collide, and uh, we actually got them to collide twice. And the second time, kind of just grazed each other, but the first time, as you saw there, they did just push them out of the way, each other out of the way. So, that is literally all that happens if they collide. Why do we do this? I don't know, it's just a curiosity, just for fun, because we already were experiment experimenting with the pelicans a lot, so... The final experiment was to see what happens if we could get them to collide with each other. And we did learn a lot of interesting things about the pelicans uh, during our journey to get them to collide. Such as how they actually do avoid each other as much as possible. Uh, but yeah, so there you guys have it. <laughs> that is literally what happens if the pelicans collide with each other on uh, on live fire. <laughs> we were like joking with each other that like if we, if we get them to collide, like 3 for 3 would send us like a million dollars or something because it would be the first to do it. Uh, so, you know, still waiting on a million dollars. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, leave a thousand comments, and of course, if you haven't already, make sure to do subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.